what is going on everybody and welcome back we back on some ufc for baby you guys already know what time it is we are the champ the middleweight champion of the world but that ain't the only thing that we got to do we got to defend the title we got to make it happen we got to show up we got to show them that it wasn't a fluke it wasn't a mistake so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it i did accept the fight from israel we did fight him before but that last time i felt like he didn't get his just desserts i feel like he deserves another chance if you don't know his stats he's 36 years old he's 6'4 he weighs 185 pounds and his reach is 80. the man has reach speed and power on his side you already know that our fitness is going to start off at low so we're going to get through training camp and we're going to make it happen we got five weeks to get into peak shape so we're going to go ahead and jump through that and then we're going to go ahead and get into the fight. I appreciate you guys following the series. I think I got this one plus one more, and then we are done with the series. And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Well, you just never know when the next UFC superstar is going to emerge. I submit to you, the UFC's interim middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, only made his UFC debut in February of 2018. And it's an understatement to say he has taken this sport by storm. It's an understatement, a massive understatement. For a long time, I had heard about Israel Adesanya before he even got to the UFC, but did not know what to expect. I did not expect such a versatile skill set an ability to stay upright, yeah. an ability to deal with the pressure of wrestlers, an ability to stay the course whenever things aren't going necessarily as you plan. He was just wise beyond his time in the octagon from the moment he got there. And I think that's because he chose the exact right time yes. to come to the UFC. Right, he didn't force it. He has become a sensation overnight. And most people believe when it comes to Israel Adesanya, the best is yet to come. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. E for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight Champion of the world, lights out. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch it up, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway.
Let's go. We are in here. The last time we were here with Israel, we had a knockout. But he looks really good. He looks like he's ready to fight. He looks like he's... Ooh. But we already know. He looks like he's ready. But we know. He's, his reach is higher than ours so we got to be careful with that we got to we're going to get in hit stick and move stick and move and just keep it moving on him oh 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 mm, there we go i got that too i got that too i got power as well oh you saw that oh he made me miss <laughs> Israel, I'm going home with the belt, baby. I am. I'm going home. We got respect for you, though. You come out. Ooh! He came out in his ring with me. We filling each other out this first round. Just, just filling each other out. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-uh. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm, get up. Get up. Get up, Israel. Come on, baby. Come on. Mm, I'm going to bang the drum. Oh, yes. Ooh, there we go. Mm, mm, there we go. Get that jab going. All right, we working on the body. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh, that hurt. I'm down. Get up. Get up. Put your hands up. Oh, Israel. Oh. Oh. I got the power, but Israel got the power too. You seen that? He almost knocked me out. Come on, baby. Ooh, you already know. Come on. Let's see this uppercut going. Let's get this uppercut going. Ooh, the man is blocking, and I like it. Yeah, I saw that coming. Woo! I got to cut off the ring from him. We got to outbox this dude. We got to. We got to. There we go. I'm not going to do you like that, though. I could have. After that round, we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. That was beautiful, man. Overall, Israel's doing very good. Look, look, I got a bruise on my cheek and everything. Let's go. Second round. Let's see what we can do. Ooh. There we go. There we go. The man is... Oh, I thought he was out. I thought he was out. I thought he was out. He was, out. He was, out. He was not... He wasn't out. That's okay, he's out now! He's out now! He's out now! Oh my goodness, what a fight! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 32 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by knockout and still. Still the 
king of the 185 pounders. There he is. Okay, we're going to jump in right here. Israel did outstanding. He did very, very well. He did get some good hits and he even scored a knockdown on us. However, he can't stand up to this power, this knockout power. I hit him hard, I hit him fast, I cut off the ring on him, and we did very well out there. We had a good training camp, so he really didn't really stand much of a chance. He did make it to round two, so I'll definitely give him that. And like I said, he did come out here and put on a good show for everybody, so I can't really be too mad at him when it comes to that one. It was a good fight overall, and uh, we're still a champion, and I like to see that. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you guys can, do me that favor. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and definitely leave me a comment down below. I appreciate you guys, and I will definitely see you on the next one.